You remember from the value ranks videos that growth is really important. A company that grows a lot in the future is more valuable than a company that grows less. So measuring growth is important for stock investing. How do we do that? Very similar to how we measure size in value ranks, we measure growth with the growth ranks. We start with the sales, the revenues of a company as a size indicator. And every company that sells things also would like to make a profit, of course. So we also look at profit. And then, in order to produce these products and services, these companies need invested capital. And the last indicator of size is the market value. Remember, we put a different bar because this is of, of a different nature. Market value of a company or the stock price. To measure growth, we are looking at how we got to this picture. So we're looking at the past. How much sales growth do we have? It's our sales rank. How much invested capital growth do we have? And how much profit growth do we have? We can even measure how we got to the market value. This is our stock growth rank. When you remember the value ranks, we said that it's really important what the growth of the company is in the future. But the only facts we can really observe are the things in the past. So we use this growth information as an indicator what might happen in the future. Bad growth isn't always bad and good growth isn't always good. I'll give you a couple of examples. If we have a shrinking market value and bad growth ranks for stock price or market value, that actually means you're going to get this company cheaper. And that's good for investors. Also, when you look at sales and invested capital and you have shrinking sales and invested capital figures, low ranks for these figures, that could just as well be from a disposition. It could be because the company sold part of its business and that's why growth looks bad. But that could actually be good for you because maybe they got rid of businesses that are not interesting. Even if you have the other picture and you have growth in profits, growth in invested capital and growth in sales, it may be just because the company bought another company. Not necessarily a good reason why growth is good for this company. You can always check that by looking at the market value, the rank of the stock price. If nothing moves much here, then these changes are probably due to an acquisition or a disposition of part of the company. Even profits are not reliable. Let's assume you have shrinking profits and the growth rank for profit looks really bad. Well, this could just be because the company made a restructuring project or is investing in the future. And both would actually mean profits will grow in the future and that would actually be good. So you see, because we can only observe the past when measuring growth, it's a limited indicator for your investments. However, it gives you a fuller picture and you can better relate than what happened in the past with that company to what you think will happen in the future. And for that reason, it's quite interesting to use as auxiliary helpful information. Music